This is what they call a prequel. Hey! What's up, my people? Zemgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Legacy Evolution Rise of Tyranny 2-Pack, Minor Megatron, and Senator Ratbat. So here we are, and there they are, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at... The packaging right up front here, we have some lovely images of Minor Megatron and Senator Ratbag, Legacy Evolution, they are Voyager Classes, Class A Voyager, Voyager Class A, Class A Via Hero, and a Class A Voyagers, on this side we just have some more imagery, on this side we have the lovely... Legacy artwork up top, Legacy Evolution, on the bottom words, things, barcodes on the back of the box, obligatory product shots, and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Minor Megatron and Senator Ratbat. A nice little Amazon exclusive two pack here. We're going to take a look at these guys individually. So first we will start off with the Megs. So here we have a minor Megatron, not to be confused with Major Megatron, no, 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 no. And this is before he became the Burrito Lord we all know and love today. He was more into quesadillas around this time. But this is when Megs had a uh, had a day job. He was working the mines, so hey, we all gotta make a living, and so did he at one point. Now this figure is a recolor, remold of the Siege Megatron, and um, honestly, full disclosure, I'm kind of over this mold and all the variations of this mold. We've gotten this mold a lot, and uh, yeah, I'm kind of over it. We need, uh, we need a new Megatron mold. But let's get in close here so we can take a look not at those minor abs, but at that minor noggin. There's the minor noggin. It's a nicely done head sculpt. In my opinion, you got that nice bright silver for the face, red for the eyes. You got those little caution hazard stripes across the forehead. Also some red in there as well. You got those caution hazard stripes going across the chest, across the shoulders there. Nice silver for the biceps. I really like the coloration here in the uh, in the abular region there. That nice red and silver just gives it a, gives it that nice pop of color amidst all the uh, dark gray. So I do quite like that. And you can see his little drill, his fusion drill. <laughs> but you can see, nice silver. Some nice detailing going on there. Again, some more of those Gaussian stripes. Reminder toesies. Moving up the back. A lot that we've already seen. Got the backpack going on there. But all in all, not too shabby. Now, articulation-wise, the head is on a ball joint, but you don't really get much of Wiggly Waggly. You can look up a bit, can look down. Head can rotate, can do a full 360. Arms can do a full 360, can move in and out. You got rotation right here at the elbow. You have slightly over 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. Nothing at the wrist except for inward movement due to transformation. You have waist rotation. Legs can go forward that far, back. Well, that far if you get around the backpack, you can get a little further. Outward, he can do the full splits. You got thigh rotation, 90 degrees of bend there at the knee and the feet. They cannot move up, but they can move down some and you get some ankle tiltage. You can also move this heel down if you need to, to support any posing. Now, as far as accessories go, other than the uh, the drill here, you do get a pickaxe. You can see this nice little Cybertronian pickaxe. You got some pink in there. And some pretty nice details, but not much to it. It's just a you know, just a nice little Cybertronian pickaxe, and you can drill, drill, pick, pick, drill, drill, pick, pick, and all of that good stuff right there. And if you want to, you can totally store this on his back. Just use that port right there. Just have it draped across his back. You can put the drill back here if you want to as well. Hey, things you can do if you want to do it, but. We can also do the Evo Fusion. Oh yes, we can. So what we can do is we can remove the drill here. And what we do here is we remove the drill itself. We take this apart and then the pickaxe will plug in there. Then you plug the drill into the pickaxe and then you plug the handle in here. And now we have this thing going on. And why not? Dare I say why not? It's a thing you can do 
if you want to do it and he can hold that and do and and do you know mining things with it because you know mining why not dare i say why not evo fusion so there you have that and now for comparus here he is with the siege megs so you can see what they kept the same what they changed I'll give it a turn around here so you can see who's who, where's what, why's how, and when's where. You can see what's going on. But all in all, not a bad mold. I'm just kind of over it, that's all. But still, you can see what they changed here. And they did change enough to make it look like a totally different iteration of Megs. I mean, God bless them. They're definitely getting their money's worth out of this mold. So, you know, hey, kudos, kudos. So, there you go. So that is basically it for the robot mode, so let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So after we've removed the drill from his arm, we're going to take the hands and flip them in. Like so, and then we're going to come here to the backpack and just raise all of this up. Then bring these sections out to the side, the center panel here, we're just going to bring down and there's tab slot connection on either side you don't really you don't really want to tab these in just yet because first we need to take the arms and just unclip them and just rotate them back once you've done that now we can take this entire assembly here and just drop it down and make sure you drop it down as far as it will go like that and then you can get all this nice and squoze and tab those side sections in. And we got that done. And now for the lower body, you just want to rotate him 180 at the waist. Then you want to bring the legs out. Open up this panel here. Bring the leg down on this hinge. And then you want to hold his hip. And just rotate this entire assembly up so it's sitting like that. Once you've done that, close that up. Tab slot connection right in there, like so. Then just flip in the heel, just point the toe down. They have that side all done. Second verse, guess what? Just like the first. Leg out, bring that up, bring that down, hold the hip, rotate all of this in, close that up, tab it in, flip up the heel, bring down the toe, and there you have. The back section all done. And lastly, but not leastly, we bring in the drill. We have to bring in the pickaxe because we need the handle. The handle will plug in right back here. And we need these two tabs to go into these slots right here in the shoulders. So you just tab it in on either side. Get all nice and frozen. And there you go. There you have Minor Megatron in his alt mode. You get a pretty good spin out of him too. Pretty good spin. But there he is in his alt mode. And now he's a drill tank for mining because he's Minor Megatron. So he mines now. He does all the mining. There you go. Not a whole lot to it, <laughs> but hey, it works. It works. Why not? Let's get in close so we can see details. Can we have that nice drill done in a lovely lovely silver you got some little red lights up front of course the caution stripes there that's a nice detail looks pretty good looks pretty good of course the toes are just kind of hanging out i always wish that the feet kind of flipped in or something just so his toes weren't just hanging out the back like that but no oh it is what it is. But there is the top, there is the bottom. He does have visible hair syndrome. Hi, how you doing? Yep, it's right there. He does have the little rolling wheel, so he can roll. As rolling things should, hooray, hooray for rolling. Man, for comparison, here he is with the Siege Megatron mold. Again, so you can see what they changed, what they kept the same. Again, they did do some some remolding. The turn around here, so you can see what's going on. And all in all, not too shabby. Now, as far as the accessories go, you can store the head of the pickaxe, and it's in the most inelegant way ever. They just want you to just plug it onto the side like that. That's it. <laughs> I wish there was some way to integrate it a little bit more. 
you know, elegantly, maybe plug it up here or something, or maybe have it like kind of tab in back there, maybe, question mark, I don't know, or just, or even maybe back here or something, I don't know, somewhere under here, and there's probably no room for it, but you know, just somewhere a little bit more elegant than just here, stick it onto the side, hooray, <laughs> hooray for storage, but it is what it is. Now, of course, articulation-wise, uh, you can rotate the drill. This whole turret can rotate and do a full 360, and that is pretty much it. And you can have the head of your pickaxe just hanging on the side like that. Because things, stuff, you can do if you want to do it. So, there you go. And next up, we have Senator Ratbat. And yes, at one point, he was not a cassette living in Sunwave's chest. He was a full-fledged bot, and he was also a senator. That's right. Look it up. It happened. But here he is in his robot mode. And let's get in close here so we can take a look, not at those Ratbat abs, but at that Ratbat noggin. Oh, there it is. And say, very nice head sculpt there. Got that nice silver for the face. The eye is done in yellow get some gold in there in the head got some nice gold across the chest here with some blue give it a nice pop of color looks quite good and a very nice color scheme also i really dig this color scheme on him i think it looks quite nice i personally dig it and the tezzies i don't know it's a lot we've seen with scourges obviously a recolor remold of the Scourge mold, but still, it works. It definitely works for Ratbat. Now, articulation-wise, the head is on a ball joint. You can get all kinds of wiggly waggly. You can look up, do squirrel, look down. Head can do a full 360. Arms can do a full 360, although the backpack will kind of start to get in the way. You have outward movements. You have bicep rotation. You have 90 degrees of bend there at the elbow. Uh, you do have wrist rotation, you have waist rotation, legs, they can move forward, only that far back, get back a lot farther, outward, you can pretty much do the full splits, you got thigh rotation, you have a bit over 90 degrees of bend there at the knee, as far as the feet, um, they can't move up, they can't move down, you can move the toe down, you can move the heel down, so you got that going for you, and you have just a little bit of ankle tiltage, and as far as the like wings back here go, they do untab from the central section, so you can kind of splay them out a little bit more if you want to, and these sections here, you know, you can bring them down, have more of a keep going on or something again things you can do a little bit of customization there as always it's your toy display it however you wish now as far as accessories go you just get a blaster and it's the same blaster that comes with the scourge mold and of course he can wield said weapon and pew pew bang bang pew pew bang bang and all of that good stuff and yes it is bluish compatible yes it is bluish compatible Oh yes, we can plug this in and do a big old rat batting. Bloosh! Rat batting bloosh, that's right. And for comparison, here he is with Scourge. So you can see what's going on here. You can see what they changed, what they kept the same. And they did a good bit of remolding here. I do quite like it. I'll give you the turnaround here. You can see why's where, when's how, and who's why. You can see all that going on there. So, ah, don't fall. There you go. So that is basically it for the robot mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So the first thing we're going to do is just flip in the heel, flip in the toe, flip in the heel, flip in the toe. And then tab the legs together. After you've done that, you're going to unclip your shoulders here, bring them down. There's a tab that will go into a slot in the forearm. Just line that up and plug it in right there. Untab, line that up, and plug it in right there. Then you want to untab these wing sections here and just bring them out to the side. You want to take this little section here and bring this up right behind his head. Then you want to bring this panel up and you want to bring all of this back and straighten out this entire black armature here. And then just drop this down 
Then you have tabs that will go into slots right up in here. So just line that up and plug it in, plug it in, plug it in, plug it in, like so. Then you can take this little section here and flip that back to cover up his face. And once that is done, just take these sections, bring them back, just bring that out, flip this up. Second verse, just like the first, just bring that back, flip this out, flip this up, and then just collapse all of this in. And it will all just meet right in the middle. Get those around the arms. You got tab slot connections right back here. So just push that in. Get all that together. Make just a little nose section. Tabs in just right. And you have these little sections here that go over. as a little tab that sits over, so just kind of push that over. That'll just set itself into place like that, so everything is sitting nice and flush. Then close this up, flip those underneath, get it all nice and squozen, and there you have Senator Ratbat in his alt mode. Decent spin, decent spin. But yeah, there's Senator Ratbat's in alt mode and it's you know the weird space slipper you know it's just it's just again it's just a weird kind of space boat thing going on there but you know why not dare i say why not but let's get in close so you can take a look at the details and it's a lot we've already seen on scourge now this section here is remolded this emblem here is actually molded in and then painted over which is nice but mostly, just a lot that we've already seen on Scourge. There you got the back, there you have the top, there you have the bottom. He does slide as space slippers slide. Hooray for sliding space slippers. And for comparison, here he is with Scourge. So again, you can see what they changed, what they kept the same. As far as the alt mode goes, it didn't change all that much, really. But I'll give you the turnaround. Just yeah, so you can see how it all works out. Yeah. There you go. And as far as his accessories go, you can store the gun. And it's just a simple case of just plug it into the side and voila, storage. Hooray for storage. And you do have some bluish compatibility also in this mode. You can't use the whole bluish. You have to use two-thirds of the bluish. But you can plug some bluishes in there. Have that going on. You can also plug some bluishes back here into the thrusters and have him bluish into space. Oh, yes, the bluishing. But there you go. So there you have the Rise of Tyranny 2-pack. And um, yeah, nice little 2-pack of figures here. Um, as far as Minor Megatron goes, you know, again, I'm kind of over this mold, but it's still it's still a good mold. It's not a bad mold. I'm just over it because I've used it so much. But it's still a solid figure in both modes and definitely works for Minor Megatron. So you know what? I'll work with it. And I do think the Scourge mold works very well for Senator Ratbat. I personally love the coloration on him. I think it looks really good. And I do dig the Scourge mold in general, so, you know, I'm definitely not disappointed <laughs> buying this another time. So, you know what? All in all, it's a solid little two-pack here, so... There you go! Now, this set is an Amazon exclusive. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also get legacy figures from BigBadToyStore.com, as always, linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. You can also check out the legacy playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Love, Peace, Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below and i think that's pretty much all there is to say so there is the transformers legacy evolution rise of tyranny two pack of minor megatron and senator ratbat and this is emgo saying remember you don't stop playing because you grow old you grow old because you stop playing be geek be proud palm in your face Primus, I am so tired. Hello there, citizen. Make sure you vote for Ratbat in the upcoming elections. No, oh, you're running for office? Well, let me tell you something. I'm overworked, underpaid, I'm selling scraps of myself just to make ends meet, and I'm running out of spares. So what are you going to do about it? Simple. I'm going to kill anyone who opposes us. <gasps> I like your style. You know what, kid? I like you too.
Come on, I'll buy you some burritos. Burritos? I've never had that before. Are they good? Oh, you have no idea.